So, uh, where is the sequence stratigraphy going today? So I think um, sequence stratigraphy has been uh, very useful as, um, as a method in, uh, in sedimentology and stratigraphy. Um, we've been changing our ideas a little bit. Uh, perhaps sequence stratigraphy is no longer quite so, so accommodation and sea level driven as it was. And that although, although sea level is a driver, we're now paying more attention also to other drivers like the sediment supply mm -hmm. or maybe even other things. So Tectonics. I think it's evolving. Uh, in a good direction and I think it will continue to evolve and change and mm -hmm. will be used by many people. Yeah, but how do you get uh, the knowledge to reach these conclusions? How do I reach these conclusions? Yeah. Mainly through uh, the research that I do and my students and we discover, for example, we discover that uh, by simple modeling, we discover that many of the large rivers and deltas mm -hmm. can reach the shelf edge without the sea level falling. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, a, that's an important point. Yeah. So that although the same can happen with sea level fall, it can also happen with big sediment supply. Mm -hmm. And so that's the slight change in our viewpoint and that was um, demonstrated uh, by simple, uh, simple experimentation. Okay. Yeah. I hope it's working this time. <laughs> <laughs>